Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Warrior episode. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. We're getting past the midway point of season two. Leong versus Zing. I thought Zing, you know, Zing gave him gave him gave him some trouble, you know what I mean? But Leong is just different. He's he's a different breed. If Leong's gonna fuck up a Psalm, you know, he's liable to fuck up anybody. So yeah, I wasn't that true. Surprised. True. We didn't see much of uh Sophie um good at all. Yeah, she was starting to annoy me. Exactly. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> we didn't see her at all with that dumbass decision that she made what did she think that she was gonna accomplish out of that i'm still trying to figure it out like even after i'm done recording i'm like bro what was she thinking selfish you know, know what i mean yeah man and we're just gonna you know see what's gonna happen after Ho hopefully we see you know sophie this episode because i want to see that confrontation between her and penny um so yeah man if you guys want to join us on the journey be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button we're gonna get straight into it let's do it let's do it yeah, it's how we started off. Is much bigger. Thanks, but I've got a day job. Yeah, he needs money now, so if he's gonna have to come back to her. I really do feel like at some point she's gonna be his second love interest. Uh, she found out. He doesn't know anything. Father, you may Yet. Stuff, but you better believe he watches the fucking books. He's definitely gonna find out. Pitting father against son. You're gonna tear apart the only child that can stand up to my lane. Damn. When you're elbowing somebody on, on the head. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a different type of fight. It was a fire episode last episode. Let's get into episode six. They had trains around this time. Uh, the, it was the start of uh, when trains were being made, I think. You don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, if I had to assume. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on here. Elijah Rooker, rich guy. Yes. And like I said, obsessed with fighters. I guess he gets off on watching them. Uh, this is where she's taking him to the place that she said where the price is much bigger so he can get paid more. Like I said, like this would be a, a perfect Assassin's Creed, you know, time period. The way that the game is set up, everything basically looks exactly like this. And you really like men. Do you like me? Ooh. No. Ugh. Ugh. not. <laughs> He's like, what's wrong with me? I don't have a sister. But if you did, of course not. What kind of a fucking question is that? He's saying that he's his brother. He looks at him like he's his brother, so he's like, if you fuck your sister. Oh, like me, like me. Didn't completely get what he was trying to say yeah. there at first. Yeah. <laughs> June's funny. What's the deal? No weapons inside. I don't give up my blades for anyone. One of these days you should learn to fight with your fists. For real. Uh, I think you should probably just give them up. Damn. Crazy times. God awful time period. It's not so bad. I'm glad you feel that way because you'll be sleeping on the floor. Slept on a lot worse. But enough about your sex life. Oh. <laughs> I want to Speaking see the banter which, between these three. What is the deal with you and Vega? Even Hong is hot for her. So June's thinking what you're thinking. June, June's, June's thinking that he's going to, you know, he's going to get up, get up in that. It seems like you want that to happen, huh? Yeah, I mean, Assam deserves some. He's been through a lot. Either in there or you're about to be. I have a nose for these things. It's a business arrangement, and I keep my dick out of my business. Says the guy who fucked the duck lady who hit our opium. It's like some Wild West shit. Kind of reminds me of that bottle episode from season one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Watch where the fuck are you going, mate? Oh, shit. He's throwing you the evil eye, is he? He literally walked into him. You got a problem with me. This guy looks like he's important. No. Oh, I think no this guy is a UFC fighter. Oh, really? Yeah, I recognize his face. You sure about that? I don't know. You sure you won't be needing that hat anymore? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, this guy might be Michael Bisping. I thought so too, you know. Let us know in the comments. So what are you going to do about it? Stupid. Come any closer and I'll break his arm. All right, let's do this, boy. I let you out of my sight for one minute. <laughs> You're Dolph Jagger, right? Who the fuck are you? Someone who'd much rather see him take you apart for the money. Problem here. All right, so he had something to do with this, uh, what she's trying to get Assam into. Stretch out the arm. Maybe you get the feeling back in an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dead man. Yeah, I get that a lot. All right, move along. Come on, boy. <laughs> you gotta love how ballsy Assam is. Yeah, I love Assam. Legitimately not style, afraid of anything. Right? Such a G. Yeah. Good evening, boys. Thought I'd come a bit early, get the lay of the land. Interesting crowd. You can relax. I saw the roster you're not fighting until tomorrow. That our host? Yes, that's Rooker. I'm Elijah Rooker, and I thank you all for coming. 
Now, I came out west 20 years ago looking to make my mark. When I settled on this land, wasn't much to look at. Knew that with a little vision and some hard work, I would find my fortune here. And now you have all come to find a fortune of your own. About a hundred years ago, the Nancy gun, gun. placed the sword as the civilized man's weapon of choice. It's how this great country was won. Without gunpowder, there would be no America. Something was lost. The intimacy and the honesty of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mm. Man fighting the way nature intended with nothing but the weapons they were born with. You men are the last of the true warriors. I started this tournament to celebrate all of you. All right. One of you is going to go home a lot richer than when you came. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is what I thought. What what's going to what's going to happen? Fire. I'm down for a tournament. May the best man win. Yeah. May the odds be ever in your favor. I'm sure a lot of you guys know where that's from. Oh, we're starting already? You ready? Okay. I didn't expect this. This man is jacked. The difference between body types is crazy. He ate that though. He ate that. He's too slow, this guy. This guy reminds me a lot like Leary. A lot, you know? Yeah, he's... Except he White has a great build and can fight. I haven't seen Leary kick like that though. But he has like the same, like, you know, bravado. Yeah. Uh, he's climbing on him. He is seriously fucking this man up. Oh, he's, he does grappling too. He can, he can do it all. It looks like. Yeah, I, I'm gonna yeah. bet this is Michael Bisping. This has to be. Not even gonna lie. If I was Assam, I'd be a little intimidated. Assam is staring death in the face multiple times. Man, he's. I don't think. You know, I don't. I don't think anything could. Scare you after you know. Yeah, you're probably right. Like at this point, you gotta just be like, you know, death is death. It is what it is. If I die, I die. You disappear. It's nice to get out of the city every once in a while. In the city, you tend to forget how beautiful America can be. Actually, this used to be Mexico. Everything you see here, even where we're standing, long before they drew their invisible lines and decided it was California. You and me were both strangers in this land. They say we're welcome, but by that they mean we're tolerated and just barely. They take away our rights, our land, our money. Whatever we have left over, they can take that away tomorrow too. Where's the kiss at? She she denied it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jason's feeded for them to get it. some <laughs> All right, we back at it. Let's go. So it looks like this guy's the guy, you know, like he's like the champ, he's the man. Oh, someone's about to fight? Nice. This guy has hands. He's got hands. Hmm. You're studying him. Because you're fighting him next. Come. Okay, let's go. This is gonna be like a little, you know, this is gonna satisfy me until the, the Leary fight. What do you do? Don't lose. Don't lose. That's good advice. By that I mean finish him fast. Yeah, don't fuck around. I fucking enjoy this. Great discipline. He's such a badass. Ready? He's gonna kick. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I knew it. Let's go. It was really that easy. Yo, what? Ooh, that was nasty. This fighting style looks like it takes way too much energy. This is really good choreography. Really good. A buff? Jesus Christ. Oh, he's a scratcher. Yeah, that's just weird. Hey, man, I guess there's no, you know, no rules to this shit. You better fucking put some alcohol on that shit. You about to catch an infection. Ooh. The Asian dude is clearly out. Ooh, you saw that? Uh, based on body weight, this fight doesn't even make sense. But there he goes. He's got speed and speed and agility. I, I try to tell people all the time, it's not all about brute strength. It's people think different. you're bigger, you got it. It's not true at all. Choreography is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so he beat the last guy. Now he's fighting Assam. All right, Assam's actually getting hit. He looks like he's eating that shit, though. He's really having trouble. 
Oh, it's a rat. Yeah. yeah, it's a rat. That's it. A lot of these guys he's going up against have very unique fighting styles, too. All right, so he picked out. Ooh, fuck. They're interested in him. Good afternoon. You speak English? Yeah. I'm Smith. I work for Mr. Rooker. He'd like to invite the two of you to join him and his wife for lunch tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. We'd love to. They don't like that. Dang. Someone that isn't white getting privileges. Don't worry about it. He took some strong hits. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Hong got his back. Trying to run up on my boy. All right. Y'all ask for it. Let's go, Hong. Three against one, and they have weapons. He gets that adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah. That's why June loves him so much. This is where I leave you. Y'all finally gonna kiss or what? You have a good night. Oh. No, we're not gonna do this. Sorry. For a moment there, it felt like we were. All right. Well, you called it. Moment about damn time. Here's your sex scene. You know, typical once every other episode sex scene. <laughs> it's your favorite part, Jason. Great angle, director. <laughs> That's like the third time they showed showed Assam's ass. You gotta appreciate the dedication as an actor, though. I was just thinking. Show is so raw. You don't have to. Go, you know. <laughs> They try to make it as realistic as possible. I like it though. A nice little difference from what I'm used to. You have money, time, options. What about loyalty? Tom, do you really believe that's a two-way street? Father June doesn't have his back. As soon as he lost that tournament, he, yeah, act like he never existed. I think it's interesting. You know, I'm American and you're Chinese, and we both have a taste for Mexican women. Hmm? <laughs> Beauty will. Transcend race every time. I think we can all agree on that. They know it's not clear. So, how long did you have trained to learn to fight like you do? You know, we started pretty young. I'm going to make my pitch. Okay, I could use a man with your skills. Well, I was hoping that maybe I could persuade you to stay on with us for a while and teach some of my boys those gung fu moves of yours, huh? I mean, make no mistake, my bodyguards are good. Okay, and Smith's here, he's as tough as they come, but I think they could all stand to learn something from a man with your skills. I appreciate it. I'm too tied up in my own shit, though. Couldn't hurt your man to add a he might Chinese fuck your wife. <laughs> Lord knows he has a track record. Thank you for the offer, but I'm going to have to respectfully decline. I can be very persuasive. It took me a while to grind this one down, but I went her over in the end. Didn't I, honey? Yes, you did. Wait a minute. That pistol you carry. Is that who I think it is? Who do you think it is? That's Carmen. Yeah. What the oh, bro. fuck? I didn't see it at first, but once I heard the voice, clear. yeah. This is the last gun you ever made. The barrel looks whiter than most. Well, you know your guns. How's the weight? Well, see for yourself. Smith's has been in charge of my personal security for years. You don't get to make as much money as I have without making a few enemies. My family was from these parts when it was still Mexico. And then the Americans came, insisting we sell them land that had been in our family for generations. Hmm. My father refused to sell. There was one man who wouldn't take no for an answer. So she talked about with the son before. That's a terrible story. Perhaps for another time. Then they forced my father to his knees at gunpoint and made him sign the deed of sale. Then this man shot him in the head right in front of his daughters with a gun yeah Just interesting like gun down what the fuck wow yeah Sam's pissed two thousand dollars to whoever kills them alright ooh she, she got some into some shit. That was pretty easy. It's not over yet. These guys are like stormtroopers, bro. They can't aim for shit. They weren't even that far. And they wide open, too. No cover. Hold it right there. Ah, this bitch, bro. What is she? Oh, my God. 
women in this time period. But Mrs. Rooker doesn't have the stomach for frontier justice. So the marshal's here. Is that Carmen? And then you'll hang. It's not, actually. It's I not. I thought it was, yeah. Kind of looks like her. The way she talked, it was like Carmen, you know, from Cobra Kai. If it's not her, she looks very, very close to what Carmen looks like. You gonna say anything? Fuck you. Yeah, for real. Yeah, don't even talk to me. I don't want to hear it. You can't be doing shit like that. I don't know who's worse, her or Sophie. Bitch is smiling. smiling. Yeah, she's over here smiling. We're all dead when we get to Sacramento. We probably shouldn't go to Sacramento then. So I guess you know each other. Okay. This is my sister, Marisol. You're every bit as good as Rosie told me to be. Thanks. Can we get to the part where you tell me what the hell just happened? <laughs> Rooker's murder was my father's land until Rooker murdered our father and claimed it as his own. Yeah, so you killed him. I got that. We part. didn't just kill him. We took back our home. As his wife, Marisol will now inherit all of it. You still use me. What do they get out of it? I just figured we'd both get what we wanted. Ooh. Okay. All right. I, I guess it was worth it. Okay, now y'all better get in the carriage and go. You don't want to be anywhere near here when the real marshals come. So I guess this is goodbye. You don't have to go back. Damn. You ungrateful bitch. He gave you everything. Why? Damn. He's nice with it. Aim you gotta have. June's nice with the knives. Imagine having this goal your whole entire life. You finally accomplish it. And then boom. <laughs> that must suck. It's what Abraham Lincoln must have felt like. All right, so we're back in San Francisco. Oh, they found out. You have some serious uh -oh. explaining to do. This next episode about to be wild. Uh-oh, June, you're in trouble. All right, man, so we still haven't seen any anything, you know, pertaining to Sophie. Sophie has not made an appearance in this episode, so, or Penny. So yeah, man, uh, I'm still curious to see about, you know, what's gonna go down between them two. It's gonna be pretty dramatic, I'm assuming, you know? Yeah. Yep. Um, Sister squabble. Yeah, this was just uh, this was just kind of like a felt it was more like a um, a story arc for that girl that you know Assam you know fought for on the bus. Yeah. I mean on the bus, the the boat and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to know about her situation a little bit more. Got some good fight scenes out of this episode. Uh, yeah, man, another another good one, another good one. The whole um, situation with Father June at the end. Yeah, man. So now Father June knows about what's going what's been going on with the whole you know Assam and uh, June's you know little secret thing they got they had going on with. The opium and whatnot yeah so yeah man we're gonna find out what the consequences are gonna be next episode man i thoroughly enjoy this episode me too yeah man june is uh father june's old school um you know the intentions that you know sam and young june had you know were probably good they were trying to they had their heads in the right place but you know father june has his ways of doing things and he is, is the is. leader of the tongue at the end of the day he yeah. should be respected yeah man all right, man. So I guess we're going to find out next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Warrior, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will catch you guys. We will catch you guys on the next episode. Take yes, it easy. Sir. Deuces. Peace.